Hey guys! So it is Friday and that means I am ending one vlog and starting another. So happy Friday y'all. I figured I never film in front of like my living room shelves so I kind of wanted to show you like my one living room shelf. It's a mess. There's like no pretty organization to it. Like it's It's a mess. But we're having some coffee tonight. My kids are doing their homework. And we're just having a lazy night tonight. Which is kind of nice. Because I don't get a lot of lazy nights. My husband is, it is Valentine's Day. But my husband's working. We had dinner. Like we made pasta and had dinner. Going out to eat on Valentine's Day sounds like pure hell to me though. He even asked, do you want to go out? And I was like... Nope. I used to be a bartender. I was a server. I was a bartender for many, many, many years, like 10 plus years. And no, the answer is no. It sounds like fresh hell to go out to eat on Valentine's Day. So yeah, going out to eat on Valentine's Day? Mm, no. Just don't want, just don't want to do it. I was like, if you want to go out, we'll go out like in two weeks or something like that. But I also just don't want to spend the money. Like we're going... In like two weeks, we're going to Legoland for my daughter's birthday and we'd buy passes for like all four of us now. So I just don't think there's something that's gonna happen. I don't know. I don't really care that much though. Like Valentine's Day is not like that huge of a deal to me. Even though my husband was like, it kinda should be a bigger deal. Cause we started dating around Valentine's Day, like nine years ago we got engaged around valentine's day we didn't get married near valentine's day we got married in october but yeah i don't know it's just never been a big thing to me but yeah so as far as reading goes i think i'm gonna stick it out and finish the last 100 pages of throne of glass which i should finish tonight and then i don't know what to pick up next i have on my bed set I have like on my side table I have two books sitting there that I've like kind of gone back and forth on which one I want to read first I have Scythe and The Cold is in Her Bones The Cold is in Her Bones is only like 200 pages so I might just read that and knock it out because it's a quick book it looks like a quick book it's super short so I might do that and then pick up Scythe because I'm really wanting to read Scythe. I haven't read anything dystopian in like a really, really long time. And that used to be like my absolute favorite was dystopian. And I've kind of gotten away from that. But I used to love it so, so much. But I don't know. Let me know. I'm sure like by the time this is up, I'll have read both of those maybe. Because I'm a fast reader. I don't know. So we'll see. Tomorrow I'm going out to my dad's house for cookout, so that'll be a lot of fun. The kids will play. I'll get some really cute pictures and footage of like the kids playing that I'll probably like insert here. But I did want to show you guys this bookshelf because I had told y'all about my Charles Dickens books. And I also have some other like classics out here that are like collectible classics. So I'm going to flip the camera around and I want to show you. So this is my like living room shelf. It's super tall. That is from my gender reveal with my son. And yes, my planter is like janky needs to be changed out because it's like gross. But yes, that was from my gender reveal for my son. Everyone signed in the color they think the baby was. Blue or pink. He ended up being blue. He ended up being a boy. And those are my shoes. <laughs> my mom had those. She saved those. Those were my baby shoes that are like, I guess they used to do that. Like cast them in brass, but they're like pink. I don't know. My mom gave them. But this is like my more collectible shelf. Yes. Please tell me y'all had glamour shots. <gasps> That's me and my mom. So these, I love these. The Willow collection. These are my Charles Dickens books that are very old. They don't have dates in them. I don't know when they're from. They're beautiful. This is my Sailor on Horseback copy. 
Irving Stone. He's the biographer. Jack London is my absolute favorite. And signed. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these because, like I said, these are a lot that I like books that I picked up from like the library sale and like haven't read. They're my like not ones that I'm super like, oh my god, yeah. Bang! My Beatle. I'm a big Beatles fan. Can you tell? My wedding picture! And then we go down and it's more of those like books I got at the library sale. They are just, they're just not organized. And then there's on the bottom, we don't have any books. That I got when I was a kid. It's, we watched the guy carve it. It's really cool. And then some call it chaos, we call it family. But that is my like living room shelf. But yeah, those are really, really cool. That Jack London Irving Stone book. Sailor on Horseback was really good. It's his biography. All right, that is my shelf. Y'all have a good weekend. Talk to you in a little bit. house to like hang out with my sisters and my nieces and my nephews oh <laughs> my husband's a terrible driver he's, he's a really cracking up because we had this big ass bump you say hi you want to show him what you got at walmart it's a doll with the same name as her it's a hair adorable she loves these things the hair adorable dolls and I've worked with the company a few times on my Coffee Mom vlog. So yeah, we picked those up. And we're driving out to my dad's house to see you spend the day with family. So see, I'm not spending the whole Saturday filming today. Even though I filmed like four videos this morning, I edited my vlog and I have like four more videos that I filmed to edit when I get home tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. But yeah, I'll keep you posted. Say hi. Hi to the husband. You can't see the boy. He's like back there with his toys. All right. All right. Hello. So it's Saturday night. I didn't get much like footage from my dad's house. I just kind of hung out with my sisters and my dad and the kids all played. Like it was just fun. I didn't really film anything. I just enjoyed the time and it was really nice. But now everyone's asleep. My work that I had to get done is done. I did some editing and I'm going to lay in bed and read. I did finish 
thrown up glass yesterday. So that means I read my entire February TBR. So now I can add more to it. So I'm excited about that. I'm adding something short. <laughs> I thought I was going to add like the black prism, something like epic. But first, I'm going to pick up the cold as in their bones. I can probably finish this this weekend. Probably not tonight because it's a little bit later. It's like 9.30 at night already and I'm an old lady. So do you tell I'm congested? Like what is wrong with me? <sighs> and I'm like, <gasps> sorry, it's late. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to start on the cold as in their bones. It's short. So I should be able to fly through this. Oh my God. I don't know if y'all can hear that. So we live close to a dirt track, like a racetrack. And on the weekend, sometimes we can hear it, but usually it's like not a big deal. Like it's not that loud, but oh my God, they are loud tonight. Y'all, they are loud, but my husband's a car guy. So whatever car noises. Oh, and I picked this up. Look. I'm a mess and I'm like laying in bed with it. Oh, cute. It's like angry Mickey. Walmart. So I was like, yeah, I'll get it. Because it's hot pink and it's Mickey Mouse and it's like kind of oversized and comfy. But there was a hole in my sweater. I can probably sew it. It's right on the seam. I don't even think it's worth returning it. All right. Well, I am going to read. I'll update y'all in the morning. I have a lot of like editing and stuff to do tomorrow. Normally, I spend Sundays kind of getting ready for the week ahead, but I'm still probably going to do that, but um, my daughter doesn't have school on Monday, so I took off work. I always take off work when she doesn't have school, and I'm going to take her to see Sonic, so that'll be fine. She's really excited. She has to like, pick the movie. It's like our thing that we do. I take my son to daycare, and we go to a movie. So now I'm going to read and try to be able to breathe through my nose. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So it's Sunday night. I haven't done any updates all day. We're filming because I've just been crazy. I've been doing all the laundry that I slacked on. And then my husband's been working. So the kids and I have just been cleaning and doing laundry. And my daughter, um, I did get some footage. My daughter decided she wanted to vacuum the living room. So that was really cute. She decided all on her own. And I was like, all right, good. You do. Go for it. But I did start reading um, The Coldest in Her Bones last night, which so far I'm enjoying. I'm about 75 pages in. I'm thinking I can finish it pretty quickly because, like I said, it's a pretty short book. It's weird. It's a little strange. Um, I haven't really gotten any explanation on anything yet. Other than demon possession, there's demon possession, which I wasn't really expecting but I'm liking it so far so I'll finish reading it and hello you know. it's Monday I'm off work today I just did grocery pickup I dropped my son off at um, daycare my daughter and I picked up groceries from Walmart see I adore the Walmart grocery pickup y'all it is like literally the best thing ever <laughs> and then she's out of school because it's President's Day and we're gonna go to Chipotle and then we're gonna go to the movies to see Sonic so yeah, we're having a fun. <laughs> She's so excited. We're having a nice little girls' day, and then we're gonna go to a friend's house. So it'll be fun. Say hi. Hi. We have some stuff to do before we go. So I gotta put away all these groceries that they just brought right on out to my car. So we just got out of Sonic and it was so cute. Well, I was back there being a little dramatic, like tired, <laughs> acting tired. Dude, you're supposed to be buckled up. I told you she's a drama queen, but it was cute, right? Yes. Yeah, it was fun. It was a cute movie. She really liked it. And I liked it, like the video game references from like the 90s. But yeah, it was fun. We're going to go get the boy and go to a friend's house now.
so I'm laying in bed. It is Tuesday night. Oh my god, y'all. So, I'm so tired. I have such a crazy busy week. Like, I had yesterday off, but I spent the day, like, taking Willow out. And we went to see the new um, Sonic movie, which was absolutely adorable. And we went to a friend's house and rode bikes and Willow got stuck in a climbing tree. And that was interesting. But, like, tomorrow I go and get an uh, eye appointment, my husband and I. And then I have to go back to work for a meeting. And then Thursday we're going to get our taxes done. Like, it's just a crazy busy week and I'm tired already. And it's only Tuesday. Bye. I finished The Cold is in Her Bones. Mmm... It was a quick read. It was weird. There were things I liked and things I didn't like, but I gave it two stars. I didn't love it. It was weird. Like, it was kind of like a Medusa inspired. Like, I wouldn't even say it was really a retelling, but it's like, I don't know, German feeling. It felt very like German and folklore but like with a hint of Medusa and it was just strange I didn't love it I wouldn't read it again mm. it was okay it was two stars I wouldn't but since that was an extra book because like I finished my whole TBR for February <laughs> I um decided to pick up <clears throat> I'm starting it. Way of Kings, which is funny because I actually, I filmed my, um, March TBR already. Because I like to pre-film a lot of videos because I work and I have kids. So it's easier for me to, like, spend one full day, usually a Saturday, I spend, like, in my filming room. <laughs> full disclosure. I will spend, like, Saturday or a portion of Saturday, obviously, not the whole day. I spend time with my family. But I'll spend a good amount of time Saturday filming. And I will film about three videos. I post three videos a week. I'll film three to four videos. One of my videos weekly is my weekly vlog, so that's not one that I, like, sit down and film. So I'm usually, like, a couple weeks ahead because I'll pre-film some videos. Like, reviews. Stuff like that. Um, usually my, like, obviously the wrap-ups I do closer, actually, at the end of the month. TBRs, I'll film, like, halfway through the month. Reviews, I schedule them out. Like, if I write it, and I'll film a review, and I'll schedule it out. Because it makes life a lot easier. I promise you, pre-filming and scheduling out videos, just, if you do videos, makes your life so much easier. I do it with blog posts, too, on my main blog, Mom, The Coffee Mom. I have been, I will write three or four blog posts and just schedule them so they go out. So it's great. But before I got off on that tangent, I said that I was going to read Way of Kings in March. And that was a crazy undertaking because I have my daughter's birthday in March and we're going to go to Legoland. So I figured I'd get a jump start on it because I'm like, I'm finished with February's like whole TBR and I read an extra book and I didn't do enough through in a glass I actually finished it so I'm gonna start it I probably won't even finish this bad boy until March because it's freaking fat I literally read the two prologues yesterday like the foreword and the prologue sit it's big but I am going to Cuddle up in bed, read some Brandon Sanderson, and get some sleep because I gotta go to work and then get my eyes checked and then go back to work. Good, good morning. Night. So I didn't really do any updates yesterday. Today is Thursday and oh my, yesterday was kind of crazy. <laughs> so I just like didn't do anything. Um, I made it to work and then probably like an hour and a half later I left to go to the eye doctor. I hate getting my eyes dilated. So I did end up getting new glasses. These are the same ones. They're going to send me my, like, I have to get my new ones, like the prescription and stuff like that. So I'm waiting on those. So I'm wearing my old ones, which are fine. It's not like much different. I just need new glasses. 
but I had to come back to work with my eyes like fully dilated and then like go into a meeting and it was so embarrassing. <laughs> Thank God, like I love the people that I work with and they're cool and they understand it because like I'm in there like big black sunglasses, like I don't know, looking crazy because the light, like if you've never had your eyes dilated, it's they're so open that light hurts them. <laughs> And you can't really see. Like, I couldn't see anything. My, like, I could see, but not, like, I couldn't see our board. And it was so freaking bright under them fluorescent lights in my office that I'm just, like, got my shades on. Like, I wanted to, like, put a hoodie on and, like, go all mean girls. She doesn't even go here. But, so that was yesterday. And then I got home and, like, had to do, like, dinner and all that with the kids. <clears throat> I did get a little bit more into Way of Kings last night, and I'm really enjoying it. It's going to take me a while to read it, because it's a big book. Even though I, like, read faster, that's still, like, it's a big book. I'm at 145 pages right now in two days, and normally it's 100 pages in two days. Yeah. So now I'm going to go into work and then when I get out, I have to go to um, the tax person. It's like I'm going to be here for like an hour. Then I go get my taxes done, which I am dreading because if you've never been like self-employed, then like taxes suck because like I claim zero at work, but I also do freelance and I have self-employment. My husband has self-employment and a full-time job. Like, it's chaotic. Thank God I have a tax guy that, like, I enjoy. But that's what I'm doing. And I'll see you. Yep. I will see you. I'll update you. Let you know how taxes go. We'll see you hey, later. So I'm ending this vlog here. It's probably not as uh, detailed as some weeks because I had a crazy week. With not going to school on Monday for Willow and then I had you know my eye doctor appointment and my tax appointment and it was just like a chaotic week so I didn't do as much updating I didn't do as much reading um I did get 200 pages into Way of Kings so I decided to just start on my February TV or my March TBR with that but this is kind of where I think I'm going to end it off for you guys. Hopefully you have a great rest of your week and hopefully I'll have more exciting stuff for you. Next. <laughs>